Good morning, pipe smokers. Another special edition, still out in the workshop on vacation. <clears throat> Thought I'd check in, do a quick vid. You ever, you ever feel like you're being watched? I feel like I'm being watched or something. Look at them! Look at them! They're watching you. Thought I'd do my last one of 2020. I'm going to do the Haunted Bookshop. Uh, like I said before, I've had this before. I did not like it at all, but uh, my Burley Chase, my Burley Chase, my Burley tastes have changed some this year. So let's see what we got going on and see if I like it or not. I'm, eh, we'll see. Smell a vision. Get in there and get you some of that. This was from my friend Morgan the Mountaineer, his contest. Okay, this smells earthy. Uh, it smells like barnyard hay. It actually doesn't smell bad. Look at it. It's ready, it's dry, ready to smoke now. Uh, I'll pack my pipe and gave my thoughts. Okay, pipe smokers, we're back. Before I get started, I wanna give a special Thanks, shout out to Classical Pipes, Dion Powell. Uh, he certainly wasn't the first, but one of his latest videos, he inspired me. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, put a like a backdrop in some of my videos, just to mix things up a little bit. He did one the other day, so uh, inspired me. I know uh, Francis... Oh, I forget his his YouTube channel. He does that all the time on all his videos. Smoking Pipe Padre. Anyway, getting back to this. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but so far I'm liking this. <clears throat> I've been smoking it for a couple minutes. I don't know if the bulk form is different than the tin. If any of you know, let me know, because like I said, it's the first time smoking this in a long time. It's supposed to have, of course, Burley's, a uh, touch of Virginia, and some Perique. And so far, it's almost reminding me lately of the Amphora Burley I've been smoking. Uh, I'm still getting the resemblance to a cigarette taste that I had done years ago. But when you smoke it slow and you really think about it, I am picking up some of that, I, what I'm thinking is the Perique in the Virginia. Definitely don't smoke this on an empty stomach like I do. But yeah, not bad. And, of course, that's the heater in the background kicking off, if you can hear that. Uh, would I buy it again? Yes. But uh, it's definitely in a special occasion smoke for me and an after-dinner smoke for now on for me. But it has a little bit of uh, spice with it. It has a little bit of earth. 
uh, like I said, uh, I'm in, in, in the background, I'm picking up just a wee little bit of the Virginia and the Perique. Uh, it's definitely overpowering Burley for me. But uh, I do like it better than what I've done, had years ago. So maybe I'm slowly coming around. Slowly. Also, another quick question. Somebody had asked me a couple weeks ago about this lighter. It's a Lotus. And it's a, you know, butane lighter and it has the switch on the side, the button. All you gotta do is just pull it down. I mean, this thing lights every time for years and it has the top for the torch and a nice reservoir you can see for the uh, fluid. Anyway, I was online trying to find this and I can't find this style anymore. If anybody has one of these or know what style it is, can you let me know? I was looking to get another one. <clears throat> That's about all I got going on. Hope everybody has a good work week and a happy new year. And I'll be back in 2021. Peace out. Justin Jackson picks up a couple. No team has lost more one possession games since the beginning of last season. And the Chargers 16 one possession game losses. Here's the end of the time. Is Anthony Lynn? So we're laying on the back of his line. Trailing by 14. 